My name is Sonia Cheng. I'm 15 and I'm from Hong Kong. My name is Maxim Makarov. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Krasnoyarsk, Russia. Меня зовут Максим Макеров, мне 17 лет, и я из Красноярска. I'm James Ellis, I'm 17, I'm from Stamford. My name is Sassan Kong Botanical, I'm 16, I'm, and I'm from Taiwan. My name is Teresa Tian, my Chinese name is Tian Yi Chen. Um, my age is 17, um, 我是今年十七岁, and I'm from the northeast part, a, a bit of, sorry, a bit of China, is Liaoning Province, Shenyang. 我从中国的辽宁省沈阳市来的. My name is Isaac Fabesma, and I'm 15, I come from London. I'm Jefferson Lee, I'm 19 years old, I'm from Hong Kong. I call you Lee Jun Yi. I'm 29 years old, I'm Hong Kong. My name's Holly Smith, I'm 16, and I'm originally from Wittering, so here. My name is Lisa Kistinova, I'm from Moscow, Russia, and I'm 17. My name is Lisa Kistinova, I'm from Moscow, and I'm 17. For me, boarding is amazing. I get a lot of free time, where I can go gym, I can go to play table tennis in my boarding house, I can talk to my friends. It just feels like a big family. For me, I like the independence despite still being at school. Um, I think it's it kind of benefits me because I'm much closer to where my friends are. I still remember when I first came here, I was like so nervous because uh, last year it was literally my first time to come to Britain and there were two people sitting on the sofa when I first entered this um, living room and they were like watching Spongebob laughing at idiots and they later on became my best friends. I just find it really hard to think that I could live without a lot of people of my age surrounding me all the time creating really interesting situations and memories that will stay in my head for a long time. I definitely lean towards my sciences. I do not like English that much, but I do have to say that one of my favorite teachers is definitely Mr. Chapman, Mr. Henry of the English department, because those two have actually allowed, taught me how to do English essentially and allowed me to get the grades that I am on right now. For S level I take history, maths, physics and chemistry so I kind of like all of them but history I discovered is my favourite, favourite subject. Well my favourite teachers of course are my further maths teachers there, Mr. Ch and Ms Mr. Chadwick and Mr. Burke. My favourite subject is history, I was struggling a bit, uh, I didn't really know what like my, my true targets were and uh, Mr. Pike like sits out on some targets that, that, like, that, that I could like do better in, which, which really helps. And also like anytime you, anytime you need help, they're there for you. Like any, anytime you need help with schoolwork or anything else, they, 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 have, like, they, they take time out of their like data to help you. So it's good. I tend to call my mum quite often, not every day, but at least five times a week. And sometimes if I have time during weekends, I could Skype her. I got group chat going with my parents, so I made them, you know, invest in WhatsApp because then, oh, my dad's always traveling, so it's, it's kind of difficult. And then my grandparents actually got Instagram, so they follow me on Instagram can see what I get up to. Skype and FaceTime in general, sometimes texting. Normally I'll message her like once a day and um, I'll video call her during the weekend. When I started boarding, I found that Mr. Ware and Mrs. Ware made me feel um, individual in a big group. So you're, you're not one of 50, you're one of one. And every situation and um, event that happens is dealt with on that individual basis and I think that's probably the main reason to why I enjoy it so much. I feel like I can come to my husband's for, for about everything because they're quite understanding like any, any issues I have in school I can, I can come to them about. They like to come out quite a lot so we see a lot of them. We see them in tea all the time so it's very very nice. We get to talk to them quite often if we need any help or anything. At, we have house meetings twice a week to s sort things out, keep the house in order and there, if we have any concerns, we can raise them to uh, the house parents at any second really. I've ch 
tried to get involved with most of the sports because they are quite fun. I'd say for me netball is my ultimate favourite. I'm quite keen on music and I like singing as well so I joined the chapel choir and Kantari which is um, the senior choir in, at the high school. I play uh, rugby for, for the A team uh, and I do debate club because I just like uh, debating on like, topics. It's, it's a good way to learn. Also chess club, we have frequent, very frequently engage in chess matches with different or with other schools. A friend of mine set up a charity um, and I collected football boots and footwear and they got sent out to Africa through DHL. Um, so we collected around 200 pairs from, uh, from people around the school um, and they got sent out last month, which was something I enjoyed doing. We have many trips to cinemas, to um, I don't know, to eating restaurants, cafes around Stamford or maybe in Peterborough sometimes. Uh, we have, I think it's twice in a year we have a trip to a pain bowling. It's the trips for me, they're really, really fun. And here at Park especially, we kind of do, we save up the budget and we splash out on really big trips. So Miss Vier had an idea, this year we went to the spa before our exam started. She's like, you, you guys need a break. So we went to the spa, had a nice girly day. So I usually go to footballs in the, football in the morning. It's organized, it's indoor football, so it's quite fun. Um, then after that, I might get some work done, especially in the exam season. I would get some work done in the afternoon, might go into town, might get some stuff, get ready for the long week ahead. Oton Tower. For sure, it's just an uh, amazing trip, go and rise, exciting trip. I probably enjoyed Borders Formal the most when we had the, uh, the formal dinner, the sixth form. Um, I think it was, a, it was a great evening for everyone there. Um, it it symbolises what boarding's about. Mrs Saunders, the Oxbridge tutor. Um, I spent quite a lot of time with her discussing my degree choice and then the universities. I'm planning to study biomedicine in UCL in London. Um, I'm planning to finish that course in three years, then go into medicine as a postgrad. I want to do biological studies, hopefully pursue a MD if possible, and essentially pursue a PhD. I have started to think about universities, most likely it's going to be a British university, however I'm also looking at some American unis. UCAS is, for, for me, it's just a completely new thing and I have no idea how it works. Um, the sixth form here has given me a lot of support on that, given us talks, powerpoints, a lot of guidance.